Hey everyone, pardon the cliche about a week being a long time in politics, but this last one seems to have been longer than the whole time when you try to contact the council. We're of course talking about President Trump, and one of the biggest October surprises in election history. Well, maybe not the biggest, that would go to the Russians in October 1917, when Lenin decided to just cancel the whole election and kill people instead. A classic Russian election technique still employed to this day. Let's stick to America though. This last week started with an election debate that was described as a dumpster fire in which President Trump and candidate Biden yelled at each other for about an hour and a half. And to people watching in the UK it made for very strange viewing in so much as at no point was the braying and childishness interrupted by the Speaker of the House of Commons shouting order, order. Nicholas Sturgeon said it was a disgrace and that's largely because the SNP weren't allowed to say in a debate, but that's largely owing to English politicians in the 1700s, notably George III. Skip forward a few days on and on Friday the President announced that he'd contracted COVID-19, not to be mistaken for contacting Maria19. She's the Twitter handle of a striptease artist living in a trailer park down the road from Mar-a-Lago, allegedly, hashtag grab her by the cat. Anyway, at this point, many in the left jumped to the conclusion that President Trump was faking the whole thing. It was part of a conspiracy to get out of the next debate. Well, that's presumably a conspiracy theory that can very easily be debunked by investigating whether Robert Mueller spent the weekend putting a deposit down on yet another beach house. Nonetheless, the situation did appear Appear to become fairly serious and the president allegedly spent the weekend surrounded by doctors and on a cocktail of drugs but that's the same as joe biden before the last debate i guess at the end of the day it'll be a few days for certain until we know what happens but this has of course been yet another story where the supposedly compassionate socially caring type spent two days wishing death and pain on the entire family and friends of someone who disagrees with their political stance the grand irony of course being that were the president to die then he would become a martyr a rallying point for the next century a conservative president set for a landslide re-election who was cut down in his prime by the deep state as compared, of course, to if Mr. Biden had caught COVID, in which case the election should be delayed, because it's unfair if the left don't have all the advantages they need in order to lose spectacularly. Anyway, see you next week. If you like, subscribe. Bye.